Today's Morning Minute, Kingdom Living in Victory. Which best describes your identity, being a victim or being victorious? Are you believing your emotions, feelings, lies, accusations, thoughts, dreams, and imaginations as a victim of the devil's schemes working in your mind? Or are you a victor using the divine power of the Holy Spirit living in you to reveal truth? David was a victor over Goliath. Daniel was a victor over the lions. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were victors over the fire. Moses was a victor over the Pharaoh and the Red Sea. Jesus Christ is the victor over sin, death, emotions, feelings, hurt, shame, guilt, regret, condemnation, lies, and unforgiveness in order to restore those who believe back to their original value, identity, purpose before the fall. As born-again believers, we are victors. We have a weapon. What is the weapon? What is the purpose of the weapon? What does the weapon destroy? How does the weapon destroy and gain victory? We read in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 3 to 6 in the NIV, For though we live in the world, we do not wage war as the world does. The weapons we fight with are not the weapons of the world. On the contrary, they have divine power, the divine power to demolish strongholds. We demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself against the knowledge of God. And we take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ. And we'll be ready to punish every act of disobedience once your obedience is complete. What is the weapon? We have the divine power of God through the Holy Spirit living in the born-again believer of Jesus Christ. What's the purpose of the weapon? The divine nature of God living in the born-again believer. It is to destroy and demolish strongholds and fortresses. What does the weapon destroy? We demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God, and we take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ. Victory comes in taking authority over the thoughts, lies, accusations, emotions, feelings, impressions, and memories, and going after God. We spend lots of energy going after the feeling and emotions rather than going after God. Christ crucified is the measure of God's love. Thank you, Lord, for bringing me into your family. I am a child of God. I know you love me. I know your purpose on the cross was to redeem me and all mankind and to right standing with you. Thank you that I can enter into an intimate relationship with you now. You are my daddy father. Amen and amen.